hello guys welcome back to your this SN and uh, in this video I will teach you how to host your Xpress app or Node.js API to the Heroku servers Heroku is the server providers so before starting I want to show you that this is my github profile and uh, this is the github wrapper which name is land-node.js if you want to see the code which I was tapped in the previous video, so you can see the all code here. And if you want to clone it, then clone it. And uh, you have the option to download this code as a zip. Okay. And second thing is, I want to tell you that um, please join the FP group, which name is C60 Degree Tag. I provide that group link in the description. So don't forget to join that group okay now let's go this is a working directory open the VS code here or your favorite editor now one thing you have to do is to type build here and uh, type all this here all this line here okay in inside this package to json file okay this line means is to make a build of our express api to which will be compatible uh, with Heroku servers to be hosted okay so before going further let's come to chrome and uh, open the heroku's official website and uh, if you don't have an account so sign up here and i already have an account so i can log in log in and now this and now this is the dashboard i don't have currently any app hosted so this is empty create this create new app and uh, type your app name so make sure you don't tap any capital letter or the special characters right i type you do and dash dash throw okay i type dash to app dash one one and its name is i think available it's available okay uh you have to choose a region it's your choice i choose europe and get a new app okay our app is created now first of all open this link in the new tab and uh, you have to install the Heroku CLI on your machines on your system if you use Mac OS, Windows, Ubuntu, Debian, Standalone or any other OS uh, you have the choice you have the choice to install install here by following this documentation tab okay I want to install for Windows so here's Windows you have to download it for 32 bit or 64 bit according to your OS Windows okay by clicking it download will start okay so you have to download that in softwares or apps inside of your OS and install that then come here and uh, login login from the Heroku inside the command prompt paste it here and enter type your credentials now like your email okay um use the email which you use when making the heroku account so i type my email address you have to type your email address for logging in okay now you have to oh, type your password Okay, I successfully logged in as my account. So close it. Now we have to do one thing is that when you done with this by typing build and this line. Now come here and type npm run build. okay all the build is created inside this this folder okay now come here and copy this package to json file and paste it here 
and uh, cut this folder and uh, create a new folder or put uh, put them in desktop or any place cut this files on folders and paste it here delete this folder ok now close the VS code here and open here now this is the build of our API I'm just package to JSON and remove that two commands because we don't need it anymore and uh, also we don't need it anymore Read it now you have to type engines node and uh, to finding what node version you are using type a node space dash v and uh, I'm using 9.0.0 .0. you have to check it uh, what version you are using in your machine and then type it here uh, I'm go I'm doing this uh, to be to make my um, express build API to be compatible with the express servers with the sorry with the Hugo servers right okay now lead this okay now come to the next OGS file and uh, Instead of 19,000, we have to type process.env.port. Uh, the meaning of this is uh, when, uh, when we host our express API node.js in a local system, all ports are open. Um, just say this open and any other port is open. But when we host our but when we host our um, API on the uh, other servers. Uh, so we have to type this process to env dot port because we don't know what port uh, that server gives our API to this API. Okay, so you have to type process to env dot port. Now get our new file inside this directory, which name is proc file, and this is for the Heroku. To type the Heroku, how to start our Express API or another API, right? So type web and uh, npm start this task uh, Heroku that run this command and npm start to start our API okay come here and uh, type start and node server slash index.js because it mean is that run whenever Heroku runs this command so this uh, this line is hit and it starts this uh, index.js file which exists in this server sort of folder right okay now if you if you have git install in your system that is mm, that is good if you don't have git install in your system so come here and uh, type git download windows Select your OS and uh, the 32 bit or 64 bit and um, download the AG software, git app in your system and uh, install it. Now, initialize. I am going to initialize uh, empty repository. If you are familiar with the git, then this will be helpful for you to understand it quickly. Git init type git in it and enter uh, initialize and empty repository of git is initialized now we have to link our this local api with the uh, with the Heroku servers right for this come here and uh, copy this link and uh, paste it here ok paste this command and uh, press enter and our app is connected our local GitHub repo or app is connected to this to them into the servers. Okay. Uh, type git add space dot. Okay. Now type git commit dash m and uh, initial commit or and uh, any other message you want to type. But I'm just typing initial commit and type git push uq master and press enter 
okay our app is going to the servers to will to be up okay it's in process it takes 20 seconds or 5 to 10 seconds okay is done with it okay our app is hosted on the server so let's check it by clicking this open app okay successfully install okay because we don't want to have any routes uh, which path is slash only slash so it keeps us cannot get space slash okay we have um, four routes in our code uh, i type all to do's with the route with the get request route and press enter and all the to do's are showing here come to postman and uh, say and test this okay postman is opening now copy this uh, inside this chrome or another web browser you can only make a get request not a post or put lead request so for that you have to use the postman for testing paste it here and uh, send when you send a request all the rules are showing you if you want to uh, if you want to um, save a new to do so here type to do as you see come to routes in this region and uh, here are the four routes we created a post request route to save a new to do and this is a get request route to show us all to do's and put request route to update the to do specific to do tags and this lead request route to remove some remove each to do by using this id okay now post request come to this body row select the json and uh, type txt and type say hi and when i press send it gives me status true okay now again get all to do's all to do's and send request and as you see it is showing and our express api is successfully hosted on the Heroku servers for free uh, there are specific uh, packages which are paid but i'm using the e free versions for this uh, for destroyer so i hope you learned something if you have any confusion so you can um, type in the comment if you like this video then like it if you dislike this video then dislike it and let me know the reason and um, you can find the code on the github and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay so thanks for watching bye